currently at Boston Airport. About to go through security and um, fly to Denmark. I'm excited. I'm now boarding the plane off to a layover in Reykjavik, Iceland, and after that I'll be landing in Copenhagen. I'm on the plane now, and um, there's the term. Very empty plane, so um, hopefully I'll be able to sprawl out on a seat so I can hopefully get some get some sleep because uh, overnight flight, so it's gonna be late. So. I have now landed in Iceland, in the airport here in Reykjavik, and I'm um, gonna be here for about another one and a half hours, and uh, then eventually I'll be on my way to Copenhagen. So now I just gotta find a place to sit, maybe get something to eat, because I'm extremely hungry, and uh, yeah, then we'll board our flight and get gone. So I took a little bit long, and I was gonna get food, but <laughs> I wasn't thinking I didn't get food, and now they're calling um, for the last people to get onto the flight. So I've gotta skip the food, um, it sucks, <laughs> but um, I guess this just means that I get to go to Denmark now, and maybe I can eat some of their food. I've never tried Danish food, so this should be good. That was close. I went through the boarding line. I was about to get onto the plane and I forgot my bag in the bathroom. I almost left without it. Oh my goodness. Whew. Okay, well I got it now, so yippee. Okay, well I was able to get some sleep on this flight. Ironically enough, it was only a three hour flight and I got four hours or more sleep on this flight. And I did on the Okay, so we just landed. We are currently 25 minutes early. So there's actually a plane that's in our spot where we're supposed to be getting off at our gate. So we've got to wait here. <laughs> so I was kind of sad that we got here early, but we got to wait anyways, so oh well. central part of the city and um, it is currently 11 a.m. Denmark time and 5 a.m. my normal time, Eastern time. Um, we're going along right now. It should be a quick one they said. Sounds like it'll only be about 15 to 20 minutes. So hopefully that's the case because I still haven't had anything to eat. <laughs> I'm so hungry.
Okay, I'm finally in Copenhagen and I am leaving the train station now, going into the city. It's a very cloudy day, but um, hopefully that won't dampen our spirits. <laughs> it's also a little bit wet. Thankfully it's not raining too much by the looks of it. Okay, so it's a bit cold here. It's about 32 degrees here in Copenhagen. So I, I had to put another hoodie on. <laughs> it's so cold. But uh, now, now I'm warm. Uh, so um, I'm gonna go try and find the uh, hostel I'm staying at and um, drop off all my luggage there so that I don't have to carry it around the city and uh, then hopefully find something to eat. Thankfully I'm seeing a lot of places right now but I don't wanna carry all the stuff around so. We'll get that real soon, I hope. <laughs> Alright, I'm about to arrive to my hostel. I'm about to drop everything off. It was actually a quite short walk on on my uh, my navigation app. It told me that it'd be 15 minutes, which it probably was, but it felt a lot shorter than that. Nice, nice chill walk. So that's good. Good start to the trip. Alright, so there's my bed. Sharon one of four people, a room, and there's my little locker for my stuff. Now, I don't have to wear my backpack around me the entire time, thank goodness. Uh, the people here are very nice. They don't really speak English that well, but it's okay, that's okay, we're working with it. So uh, now I'm gonna go out into the city and have some fun. Okay, I just left the hostel, and uh, now I'm finally going out into the city. Um, it is currently 12.16. Copenhagen time and um, <laughs> I still haven't eaten anything <laughs> so um, let's 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 go do that um, I don't know where to go uh, some person at the front desk told me that there was some nice fish restaurant in the area I don't eat fish <laughs> but uh, that's their delicacy here fish so um because they're on the sea so I guess I'll just have to find something to eat. We'll see. I don't want to do McDonald's. I've done McDonald's way too much on all these Europe trips I've done. It's also starting to sprinkle a little bit. I mean, it's been cloudy all day, but not really too much in terms of rain. It's definitely been wet on the ground though, but uh, now it's starting to sprinkle. So I'm hope hoping it doesn't get any more extreme than that. Well, I have found the Lego store, so yay. <laughs> uh, and I just got my passport stamped, my Lego passport. So um, yeah, now I can actually go into the city and go do something. All right, I'm now in the shopping center area. Very nice. We've got street singers here. We've got a lot of popular stores that you might find in America. Foot Locker, Levi's, H&M. Bunch of stuff. And there's a 
Nice too. Uh, this whole place is very, very nice to look at. So I know I'm in Denmark, but I'm at some Middle Eastern restaurant right now. And I got what I think is pronounced the Kulyungi sandwich, which just means a chicken sandwich. But it's wicked good looking. It's with pita bread, lettuce, and obviously you sell the rest. Um, there's also this sort of thing here. It's at all the tables. So I'm guessing it's some sort of seasoning you can put on your stuff. I'm not sure. Uh, I think I'm gonna try it and we'll, we'll see how it tastes. I'm really hungry, so <laughs> I need food. So I just finished eating. That was really good. Glad I got that. Um, tonight I'll have to get some Danish food <laughs> rather than Middle Eastern. Um, but yeah, now I'm just walking around, kind of seeing what to look at, because now I've got a, a full belly, so now I've got the energy to go around. So, I'll uh, video the next thing that I find. We've got a Israel protest thing going on over there. I've never seen one of those in real life. I don't know that I've ever seen a protest in real life. Kind of cool, actually. So, I just stopped in Starbucks for about an hour and a half just to sit down, get warm. Uh, I got two drinks because I was very dehydrated. Uh, and um, I got some Wi Fi so I could look around and see what all I wanted to do. Um, so, yeah, right now I'm going to a castle, which is, I can see it from here, but barely. So, um, I guess uh, see how it is when I get there. It's just around the corner, so. So, like everything, it costs to go in that castle. That is the Rosenborg Schlott, is what they call it here. Um, I'm not gonna go in because I'm not gonna spend the money to go in there. It's nice to look at though. Also, I don't know why, but there are McDonald's all over Europe, and the funny thing, they are way better than the ones in America. The ones in America are all wicked greasy, obviously, I mean, you know, but these ones, they're, they're actually at least a little stomachable. I'm at New Haven. It's right where the well, canal is through here. The boats go through. It's connected to the sea. 
Wicked cool, I've always wanted to go here. And it's at dark, so all the lights are lit up. And see all the colorful buildings, it's really cool. Oh, this place is so awesome, I love Copenhagen. Okay, so I know I said I was gonna get Danish food tonight. <clears throat> but I'm wet and cold, and I can't go very much further <laughs> outside of the city to find actual Danish food. It's all like other cultures in the city center, so it's hard to find Danish food. So I, I got McDonald's. <laughs> I know I can get it anytime I'm at home, but um, it's also way better in Europe, I think. Um, so I'm gonna snack on some of this, and then maybe later tonight I'll get some actual Danish food if I can find some. Just got McDonald's, obviously, and uh, now I'm on my way back to the hospital. Hos hospital, jeez, hostel. I'm gonna probably just chill out there, but uh, kind of just stop by and see what I can while I'm going through the city. Right now, I hear a really loud music, so I might go check that out. But um, yeah, I, I'm my day is over. It's about 6:30 over here, and I'm tired from the overnight flight, so. It's a bit dark, obviously, but so it's hard to see, but right there, that's the Rundetarn, or the Round Tower of Copenhagen. Uh, I wish it was daytime so that you could see it better, but uh, you can kind of see a bit of the city from up there. And uh, there's a bit of money, so I didn't go up it earlier, but um, I thought I should add it to the vlog. Okay, so I'm finally back to the hostel. My bed is ready for me. <laughs> it's wicked early right now. Everyone downstairs is partying and my room smells of marijuana. <laughs> um, but I'm not into that stuff, so I'm gonna try and ignore it if I can. <laughs> Just fall asleep. I know that there's gonna be a lot of people coming in here um, drunk at one in the morning, but hopefully that doesn't wake me up. <laughs> But yeah, hopefully I can get some sleep and I look forward to pulling tomorrow. So I'm going to log off now and I'll see everyone tomorrow.